குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ் அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus kurinji education institution kavetipatti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg to 12 contact 9025895176 metric 6 to 12 contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurinjischoolnkl.in students now in this video so we are discussing so continuation information of emma continuation information of uh, entomophily continuation the continuation information of which one entomophily so in a previous video some more information i have given related to the entomophily you now so related to that one so in this video few points so actually few points i left uh, means due to the lack of uh, board space so that's why a few points i am covering today so entomophily information there continuation am so rafflesia okay rafflesia uh, fall order rotted meat smell comes means rafflesia uh, flower is there no so that that particular rafflesia flower if you see there no so what is a type of uh, or what is a kind of a smell we can observe means so that is is so like a uh, fall order like uh, rotted meat means like a contaminated or like a spoiled meat will be there no so likewise so somewhat uh, smell comes from the rafflesia flower so that one so rafflesia so pollinated is a broad about by or broad by which you know so some kind of a flies name is carrion so this information orally i have given in a previous class no but uh, through matter i would like to explain emma rafflesia pollination is a broad about by carrion flies and the dispersal of uh, seeds by the elephant emma so here what is information now we here we can uh, discuss means uh, in rafflesia point of view pollination is uh, brought about by carrion flies carrion emma so once you try to listen so all these are all new terms to us no at the time no so definitely we have to concentrate to learn this much of uh, or this kind of information clearly emma so and what are the seeds which are developed in the rafflesia plants you know definitely so all these seeds are uh, like uh, uh, disposed uh, with the help of elephants next one nymphiema nymphia water lily example so uh, not example another name water lily means uh, which one na uh, nymphia so next one uh, water hyacinth water hyacinth means uh, we seen now uh, in a second chapter terror of bengal or uh, one more invasive weed or icornia likewise we see now uh, so all these uh, uh, these are all another names of icornia or uh, water hyacinth and next one uh, nilambo nilambo means a uh, lotus plant okay so actually here uh, we can write common names but suppose if they ask uh, scientific names in uh, examinations you know so definitely we must aware of those emma so that's why so what are the normal names and the scientific names they are mentioning in uh, uh, information no definitely that kind of names also giving to you so to learn emma now let us discuss so nymphia water lily water hyacinth icornia or terror of bengal next one nilambo lotus next one alisma emma so alisma it is a kind of a plant so are also entomophilus plants while they are hydrophytes means here what are the examples we have been discussed till now means once you see there water lily water hyacinth and one more is nilambo emma so water lily one more time you once you see is important point the second point water lily water hyacinth nilambo alisma so all these are all entomophilus plants means here the pollination takes place through the insects emma so here perfectly what they have given entomophilus only they have given but in our ncert test book no what they have given no entomophilus or means pollination takes place through the insects or pollination chances there to takes place by wind okay but uh, but here these plants are hydrophytes means here even though these particular plants or uh, uh, belongs to the hydrophytic category but pollination is not taking place by the water 
Remember? So definitely pollination takes place by any one mode of what are those either by insects or by what wind. Remember? So that is information. So we have to store in our mind. Next one ornithophily point of view. So here ornithophily one more what is our main important information to be taken means <coughs> suppose if the pollination takes place by birds. Emma, suppose if the pollination takes place by birds, so uh, such kind of a pollination we will be taking as ornithophily, we know very well. But uh, uh, let us discuss a few examples also. Emma, so pollination takes place by, Emma, once you see there, pollination takes place by sunboard, and one more is a hummingbird. One is one is a sunboard, and one more is hummingbird in a bignonia, and by honeybird. And by honey board, so here uh, what is the point now? And by honey board means once you see pollination taking place by birds. So in this particular case, you no, know, by sun board. You know, so if sun board involvement is there as well as a humming board involvement also is there in a bignonia. You know, one kind of a bignonia is a plant, a plant flower. So bignonia and by honey bees or not by honey bees, I'm sorry. So by honey board. So by honey board, no, definitely we can see that uh, pollination uh, we can see in Sterlesia, Sterlesia and one more is Calistomon, Calistomon also known as bottle brush. Um, bottle brush inflorescence uh, in our chemistry lab if you see there no like a bottle uh, test tube cleaning uh, like uh, brushes are there did you see so like that only uh, inflorescence will be there red color or pink color. Um, Random match of color everywhere. So, and the mother color inflorescence will be there. In our Koyambatur or some other place in our botanical gardens, I have seen this one bottle brush. So, super inflorescence means here what is information of bottle brush uh, uh, like a plant scientific name is Calistrimon and uh, Sterlesia and Bombax. Bombax means a silk cotton tree. Okay, next one Butia monosperma and coral tree. Coral tree scientific name is Erythrina. Okay, so likewise here there are different types of birds are there. So different uh, like a different plants are there. So all these kind of plants are definitely pollinated by the honey bird. So but here my dear students, one one request here a lot of examples we are discussing. No, sir, we have to remember all these examples as our means. So maximum they hundred percent uh, if you consider no, their 99 percentage they won't ask this one. Why? Because even they didn't mention here uh, this kind of uh, points also. Ornithophily, what uh, like ornithophily, entomophily, or chiropterophily, likewise. So, what are the meanings they didn't ask? But suppose if they would like to ask me, if they ask means we cannot. So, means uh, at the time that's why to be on a safe side, uh, so giving you this uh, entire information. So, uh, if you watch this video or if you write the notes and uh, if you concentrate on per one day, definitely this entire uh, explanations or examples will be there in your mind. Okay, now in this video, now what is the information we are saying? Chiropterophily point of view. So, next one is, next one is chiropterophily. Pollination takes place by bats. Pollination takes place by bats. The flowers are big in size. So now here the flowers are, flowers are big in size and uh, so here uh, what are the examples? Um, uh, here one and only the characteristic I am going to give you what is that? In Charypterophily plants, you know, pollination takes place by birds, okay, bats, sorry bats. Now here the flowers are big in size, okay. Now what are the plants now here we will be taking means, Anthocephalurus, Emma, Anthocephalurus. Uh, Kabanda or Kabanda Kadamba next one Bahinia Kaigelia plants Kaigelia plant also known as a sausage tree Emma Kaigelia plants uh, means a sausage tree and Adansonia example so suppose if you are unable to remember no problem leave it but don't get tension okay now uh, character of a point of view suppose if the pollination takes place by bats Okay, so such kind of uh, uh, pollination we will be taking as a characterophily. Examples are Anthocephalurus. So at least you try to remember Anthocephalurus, Bahinia, Kaigelia. 
okay so next one one more is adenosonia so likewise there are different types of plants are there so these plants are definitely pollinated by the uh, presence of uh, bats next one uh, marmocophily 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 pollination takes place by termites and ants emma this particular information already once we seen while uh, introduction of like um, like uh, biotic biotic pollinating agents there so now mermocophily point of view suppose if the pollination takes place by termites and ants emma perfectly you try to remember termites and one more is ants so suppose if the uh, these are termites and ants also involves in the pollination means so such kind of a pollination so we will be taking as uh, mermocophily mermocophily prosophis so here uh, in a process means a kiger okay kiger plant and acacia so idi theriyo that's we know very well in first year studies we have seen uh, acacia melanoxylon or acacia you try to remember at least okay in acacia plant and some other members of rubaceae family members you know some members of rubaceae family members and uh, mango plant and litchi plant among litchi mango rubesi family members and uh, acacia family uh, acacia members next to one uh, kiger members kiger members the scientific name uh, prosophis members so definitely there the pollination it takes place by termites and one more is ants emma next one melacophily so melacophily point of view what is information we can see now pollination brings about by snails emma so melacophily suppose if the pollination takes place by snail so so that kind of a pollination we can be taken as melacophily so best examples are lemna and one more is chrysanthemum okay pollination brought about by snails suppose if the pollination takes place by snails so that kind of examples we can see in lemna and one more is chrysanthemum emma so all these are all or at least you try to remember what are the information what is information of oh? entomophily means what or nothophily means what or chiropterophily means what or the mermocophily means what and one more is melacophily at least you try to remember all this so at least uh, somewhat uh, oh, is a benefit okay is that next one some extra point point of view so what are the some extra points we can be discussed so related to this one means so mango is a pollinated by emma so here even here we have been taken now a uh, mermocophily term means so that pollination takes place by amma um, so part of pollination takes place by ants and termites you now next one here one more information they have given here mango pollinated by wind and insects also but here we have been taken the presence of uh, or the presence of ants or uh, involvement of ants in in pollination of uh, mango plants but here author giving one more extra point that is is Oh. even wind and insects involvement also is there oh. in pollination of mango okay in pollination of mango next one rose is pollinated by insects am a rose flower plant is pollinated by insects next one banana plant or the banana plant is pollinated by bats or birds okay now here the banana plant is pollinated by bats or birds okay now here there are different types of examples we will be observing mango plant is there that particular mango plant is pollinated by pollinated by wind or insects next one rose is pollinated by insects and the banana is pollinated by bats or ba uh, birds mostly in a banana so definitely pollination occurs or taken place by bats emma so this particular point also you try to save in your mind so here in this side you know so entomophily we seen ornithophily we seen chiropterophily we seen next one marmocophily and uh, melacophily we seen emma so somewhat extra points also we have learned related to this one next one in this video uh, in this side so now here what is information we will be seeing means so some plants pollination occurs or in some plants okay now here in some plants you know pollination occurs by snake emma so uh, this particular point also we have to st store in our mind so in some plants pollination uh, occurs by snake snakes also involvement is there in uh, in terms of pollination so such kind of pollination we will be taking as ophiophily 
okay so best example santalam sandal sandal is a no mysore sandal likewise so soap santalam album so that particular plants you know pollination it takes place by snake the okay next one night night ama so from here onwards some kind of important points ra so what are the points no night flowering plants are pollinated by moths so night flowering plants night flowering plants are generally white in color no so that's we know very well night or evening a uh, uh, blooming flowers we know uh, blooming plants no so they are uh, definitely so here the pollination occurred or the taken place by the presence of moth insects next one here that point i have written so they are highly scented color super smell over and highly scented and their flowers are generally white colored so means here night blooming or night flowering plants are there no so all these flowers are pollinated by wind uh, pollinated by moth and highly scented and the flowers and their flowers are generally white colored means here the white colored flowers i um, means uh, uh, like in our daily uh, day wise man our, our experience no so we are, we are observing this one okay so what are the night blooming plants or uh, plants flowers are there no definitely having of uh, uh, super smell so that is only a highly scented so author was mentioned uh, that particular point as highly scented means on all smell over so that is a point next one the flowers are pollinated by flies emma what are the flowers are the pollinated by flies and beetles secrete fall odor to attract these animals means here what are the flowers are pollinated by flies and beetles no definitely so some kind of uh, uh, like a fall or fall means like a uh, um, contaminated or like a spoiled suppose uh, suppose uh, uh, how can i say suppose if an non-veg or any other thing or some other things so suppose uh, going to be degeneration means going to be decomposed so in that particular case now how that particular smell comes so likewise other uh, by explaining that entire phenomenon by using this word so thereby the flowers pollinated by flies and beetles secrete fall order okay fall order to attract these animals okay next one favorable color ama is particular point also important the favorable color of honeybees is yellow color favorable favorable color so what is a favorable color of honey bees means that will be emma what is that so that will be uh, yellow color but they are blind to red color so definitely so this particular one means here the honey bees so what are the honey bees are there no so they will like the yellow color but uh, so but uh, here red color they cannot recognize why because here they are blind to red color which one emma which one honey bees next one among the animals among the animals insects insects that is also particularly bees are the dominant biotic pollinating agents so here among the animals so in among the animals insects are particularly bees emma so in among the animals insects in insects again bees are the dominating biotic pollinating agents okay so this particular point we have seen already so in, a, in our textbook also this particular point we learned uh, already next one so large larger animals such as uh, some primates large animals or the larger animals or some examples of primates lemurs so some example is a primates are there so next uh, uh, arboreal plant, uh, like uh, animals are there next one rodents even a reptiles even a reptiles also some examples are there some kind of lizards we are we are seeing garden lizards or uh, gecko lizards next one uh, tree dwellers so tree dwellers also we are observing so all these are also reported as pollinators in some species means here in some species even uh, tree dwellers or lemurs or some kind of primates or the reptiles emma garden lizards or the gecko lizards likewise there are different types of animals also are reported as pollinating agents emma so likewise so some more information we can see related to the agents so the agents which are involves or which are involves in the pollination emma so what are the animals or what are the like organisms involves in the pollination so all those members we will be taking as agents agents of pollinating so pollination okay now here 
now events of fertilization so here this entire information is easy the but here only most important explanation is that and now you see that the stages involved in a double fertilization are ipo events of fertilization means what we will concentrate more and more double fertilization only no emma so thereby here in this particular case what is happening or what are the main important points we will discuss in this particular occasion means once you see the germination of a pollen to form pollen tube on the stigma emma once the once the process of pollination is completed once the process of pollination is completed so there the particular stigma it will proofread means what is a pollen grain is present on the stigma or the receptacle no that particular pollen grain uh, is examined by the okay are tested by the stigma suppose if the pollen grain is come from the another plant of the same species definitely gets the permission to form pollen tube suppose if the flowers are pollinated so or suppose if the uh, pollen grains which are coming from the same flower or another flower of the same plant means that particular pollen grains cannot be germinated on the stigma ama i hope you understood my point okay what is the point i have given here uh, did you understand emma once you think about it uh, suppose uh, suppose if you are unable to understand okay so thereby ipo what is the point no self compatibility and self incompatibility likewise we took no emma self compatibility and self incompatibility likewise so suppose if it is right type of pollen grain means that is is compatibility suppose wrong type of pollen grain means that is is incompatibility emma ipo right type apdena once you listen one more time i will tell you self compatibility or right type na no? suppose if the pollen grains which are coming from the another plant of same species ama now you save your mind ipo self incompatibility means suppose what are the pollen grains are suppose if the pollen grains are coming from the same flower or another flower of same plant at the time genetic information will be same only no that kind of a pollen grains will not be germinated on the stigma that's why based on the type of the pollen grains you no know, which are coming on uh, stigma so we, there are two methods are there one is like uh, self compatibility and one more is self incompatibility emma so self compatibility means right type and self incompatibility means wrong type of pollen grains okay now let me move forward next one the growth of the pollen tube on in the stigma so the definite uh, sorry ma not stigma on this style so the growth of the pollen tube in this style so definitely so later definitely we will uh, observe the suppose if it is right type of pollen grain means so definitely forms the pollen tube and start to grow towards this style middle region is there now so middle one ipo carpel if you divided into three parts no stigma style and ovary no so on the stigma so germinate amo so definitely after formation of pollen tube no that grows towards this style later it goes towards the ovary emma so next one the direction of pollen tube towards the micropylar region of the ovule definitely that comes towards the micropylar region of the ovule emma so but their entry of uh, pollen tube also here we have been discussed the three different types are there chalausogamy mesogamy porogamy likewise we see no so in the next videos i'll explain that one no worry next one the entry of a pollen tube amma into the one of this synergids so, so later when the particular pollen tube enters into the embryo sac no so in the embryo sac towards the micropylar region we are finding the presence of egg apparatus egg apparatus is nothing but one presence of one egg cell with two synergids isn't it so thereby when this particular pollen tube is going to be entered into the embryo sac you now that ruptures the one of the synergids emma so that ruptures the one of the synergids so one of the synergids if two synergids are there so ange one of the synergids will be ruptured by because of the entry of a pollen tube into the embryo sac my dear students so nalla so, understand pannikonga so thereby uh, that particular pollen tube means the particular pollen tube is entered into that embryo sac or not how we can find out suppose if we are finding only one synergid in uh, embryo sac kandipa we can find out the so definitely the pollen tube is uh, entered into the embryo sac we can get the information emma next one discharge of male gametes so when that particular pollen tube enters or enters or entering through the one of the synergids so while rupturing the synergid cell i told you already in, in our classes so definitely uh, like a synergid uh, uh, cell wall is ruptured 
ஏமா சினர்ஜிட்ஸ் செல்போலிஸ் ரப்ச்சு அண்ட் சைமண்டனியஸ்லி போலின் டியூப் டிப் வில் பி தேர்னோ எட்ஜ் அப்பேக்ஸ் ரீசன் ஸோ தட் பர்டிகுலர் ரீசன் ஆல்சோ வில் பி ரப்ச்சர்ட் ஸோ தேர் பை ஸோ வாட் ஆர் த மேல் கேமேட்ஸ் ப்ரெசென்ட் இன் தி ப்ரெசென்ட் இன் தி போலின் டியூப் நவ் டிஸ்சார்ஜ் இன் டு தி வேரம் டிஸ்சார்ஜ் ஆன் டு தி சைட்டோப்ளாசம் ஆஃப் தி சினர்ஜிட்ஸ் so it is super information amma try to save in your mind so pollen tube now both pollen uh, like uh, what are the po- male gametes are present in the pollen tube all will be so all will be uh, discharged into the cytoplasm of synergids okay man next one syngamy process takes place uh, simultaneously uh, triple fusion process also occurs ஓகே சிங் சிங்கமி சிங்கமி இஸ் அ நத்திங் பட் ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் ஸோ ஃபர்டில ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் இன்ஸ்டெட் ஆஃப் யூசிங் ஆஃப் ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் எக்ஸாக்ட் டேர்ம் சிங்கமி ஓன்லி வி ஹாவ் டு யூஸ் ஏமா நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப்டர் கம்ப்ளீஷன் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஒன் அண்ட் ட்ரிபிள் ஃபியூஷன் ஸோ ஐ எம் நாட் எக்ஸ்பிளைனிங் திஸ் ஒன் வை பிகாஸ் வி நோ வெரி வெல் சிங்கமி அண்ட் ஆஃப் ட்ரிபிள் ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் சப்போஸ் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் நோ மீன்ஸ் நோ யூஸ் ஆஃப் பயாலஜி ஓகே நோ ஹியோ த சிங்கமி பட் லெட் மீ எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஒன்ஸ் Okay, Singamy means when the first male gamete is fused with uh, egg cell and results in the formation of a diploid zygote. Okay, so that particular process only we will be taking as a Singamy. And a triple fusion means the second male gamete is there now in a pollen tube. Okay, so two male gametes are there. So male, two male gametes are there. These two male gametes are produced from the generative cell. ஏமா இன் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் வி சீனோ ஸோ செகண்ட் மேல் கேமேட் நவ் ஃபியூஸ்ட் வித் போலர் நியூக்ளியர்ஸ் ஆர் சென்ட்ரல் செல் அண்ட் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் இன் தி ஃபார்மேஷன் ஆஃப் ட்ரிப்ளாய்ட் ப்ரைமரி எண்டஸ்போம் நியூக்ளியர்ஸ் நவ் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் ட்ரிப்ளாய்ட் ப்ரைமரி எண்டஸ்போம் நியூக்ளியர்ஸ் லேட்டோ டெவலப்ஸ் இன் டு எண்டோஸ்போம் ஏமா ஸோ லேட்டோ த ஈவெண்ட்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் யூ சி த ஈவெண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி போலின் டிபாசிஷன் ஆன் தி ஸ்டிக்மா டு தி என்ட்ரி ஆஃப் போலின் ட்யூப் இன் டு தி ஒவ்வியோல் ஆல் வி வில் பி கன்சிடரிங் அண்டர் போலின் பிஸ்டல் இன்டராக்ஷன் இது இம்பார்ட்டண்ட்டம்மா ஸோ மீன்ஸ் ஹியோ ஸோ வாட் ஆர் தி ஈவெண்ட்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஹியோ ஒன்ஸ் யூ ஃபாலோ தி லைட் அம்மா ஓகே ஸோ ஃப்ரம் வாட் ஆர் தி ஈவெண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி போலின் டிபாசிஷன் ஆன் தி ஸ்டிக்மா வென் த பர்டிகுலர் போலன் போலன் ஆல் போலன் கிரைன் ஷெட் ஆன் தி ஸ்டிக்மா ஃப்ரம் தட் பிளேஸ் ஆன் வோட்ஸ் டில் தட் வாட் ஆர் த மேல் கேமேட்ஸ் ஆர் ப்ரெசென்ட் இன் த போலன் டியூப் டில் என்ட்ரி ஆஃப் ஆஃப் தீஸ் போலன் கேமேட்ஸ் ஆர் த மேல் கேமேட்ஸ் இன் டு தி எம்ரியோ சாக் ஓகே ஆல் தீஸ் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் வாட் ஆர் த டேர்ம்ஸ் அண்ட் த இவெண்ட்ஸ் வி வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் நோ ஆல் தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் கம்ஸ் அண்ட் டேக்கிங் அண்டர் ஆர் வி வில் பி டேக்கிங் அண்டர் pollen pistil interaction so there there are different types of events are there so in uh, tomorrow's video means in uh, next video definitely i'll give you information regarding so konju unknown information to be given okay ma so tomorrow's class will be very very important so this particular class also is important but when you compare to the today's class tomorrow's class is most important so listen carefully so in this video what is the information we have been uh, discussed means antomophily we seen ornithophily chiropterophily um, like a mermocophily melocophily next one uh, ophiophily we discussed next one uh, in a night blooming flowers or the night blooming plants you know definitely pollination takes place by moths we seen next one in a to- uh, in case of or among the all uh, animals definitely insects only ema insects particularly which one bees or the dominating biotic pollinating agents ema so not only all these things you know there are different types of larger animals primates or their and tree dwellers or their rodents or they and even a reptiles also are reported as some kind of pollinating agents next one events we have seen so what are the events what are the events we will be taking or we will be considering from the from the pollination from the pollination to till the formation or the till the completion of till the completion of which one till the completion of till the completion of which one am so triple fusion and the singamy everything all these processes we will be considering under pollen and pistil interaction so this is a small information regarding so different types of pollination types and events of fertilization okay ma so thank you and be safe at home